right guys it is blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Corey, aka blockchain uh starting off on my website blockchaintatrading.com the link is below uh biggest thing i want to highlight in there is a quick description of the exclusive discord that we have in there uh for technical analysis options alerts and crypto alerts so no matter what market you're in um we have you covered so a little intro about us um the three different levels of membership between the monthly yearly and lifetime uh starting off on the yearly you actually get the full six six uh full the <laughs> full six segmented trading class uh, that I have that um, covers a lot of the trading essentials that I use my technical analysis so you can follow along with me and then of course the number one trading strategy that I use for free just fill this little guy out and I'll send you a video demonstration on my number one trading strategy that is consistent profitable reliable and applicable to any market so make sure you guys get in there and check it out uh, as well as with um, a, a couple testimonials here so um, definitely get on check it out hopefully I'll see you guys in the discord uh, so let's go ahead and speaking of which I guess the discord let's take a quick look so that way you guys can see what's going on in there um so from a crypto perspective we have kj um he alerted us of a 122 percent gainer today um and then in the traditional markets um if you missed the last week um we have where is it where's his rundown these are all the ones he had today um so last week he actually had a th like three percent or three thousand percent uh confirmed profits from his calls last week two thousand the week before 1500 the week before um so just absolutely killing it um and then of course and you can see some of our members gains that we have here um so actually a couple option calls that i've had there um, I had a thousand percent gainer from my technical analysis that I posted. Um, MDU Chow, um, you know, sitting quite nicely with over thirty thousand percent profit on uh, on some of his um, trades that he's been in. So all good stuff. So hopefully I'll catch you guys in there. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into the charts. All right, all right, guys, let's go ahead and do a quick update. I'm going to start off on the weekly here, <clears throat> look at a couple higher time frames um, and dive into some of the smaller time frames. But just again, kind of look at it, the overall bigger picture here. Um, so on the weekly chart, you can see that the RSI, we are um, creeping back into the bullish control zone and about to find resistance on our slow EMA here. So finding some resistance on the weekly, but what also what I'll point out too is that we are currently, we just printed our fifth green candle on the weekly um, in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. Um, we have done fours, uh, we've done some threes, but we haven't actually really had any five green candles on the weekly. Um, it's normally sevens. Um, so you can see one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. But normally when we get the fifth, we get some continuation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven there. There's seven here. Um, there's seven back here. Um, so we haven't really got ever gotten just five green weekly candles in a row. It's normally continuation for seven um, when we break four. So that is going to be something to watch as we go through the rest of this week as well and potentially break into the bullish control zone. Um, we have found a little bit of resistance, as you can see, at some of our local lows, or I guess some of our prior lows we had before when we were trying to break 60K. Um, so right at the you know 50K, 51K mark, um, definitely finding some resistance. So we will need to break through it with some power here on the weekly. Uh, if we go and flip into the daily, it can offer a little bit more insight uh, for what we're looking at here on a daily perspective. Um, so the bearish scenario that we also wanted to keep in mind is to have this potentially be an A, B, and A, C. Um, so you can see we actually came up, tagged that 1.618, you know, pretty much to the T, 
um, and then we've gotten a little bit of rejection. So we, I wouldn't say it's been, it's not a hard rejection, um, it's not validated, but a break above the 50, $50,600 mark um, and getting us into, you know, 50, probably the 52 territory. I would count this as invalidated and this is the start of another run. So um, on the smaller time frame, it is, um, you are able to make an argument. This would be our one, two, three, four, and then kind of an ending fifth right here as we got up a little bit higher. Um, so that is the bearish scenario that we want to keep in mind and and watch for. Um, you can see that the RSI on the daily is hanging in the bullish control zone, um, but we would like to see a break outside of it and establish the top side as a little support, similar to what we did back here, back here, um, right here. Um, we want to break outside and get on top of the bullish control zone and establish it as support. So it is acting as a resistance point right now, same with the price action. Um, so it's putting a little bit of the ceiling on there. We're also seeing the VWAP curl back down. So be cautious, make sure you are protecting your capital because those are all things we could have, um, could be really be looking for in a potential top um, before breaking debt back down you know if we do break outside and break below the bullish control zone if we do move downwards um, then I'll be kind of changing my bias but right now I am still looking for some um, to set in some higher highs and uh, break above that 50k mark um, so that is what um, the bearish scenario that we want to pay attention and and really stay aware of um, if we don't break outside of the bullish control zone so looking for a break here coming up um, hopefully this week I'd say um, and get right back on top of that uh, if we go to the eight hour um, kind of a similar thing where we did break back into the bullish control zone finding a support now um, and really hopefully looking for the support to hold for the bullish perspective um, you know and really close and maintain these highs um, if we you know protect the the 47 48k mark um, you know, I think that would be that would be a win for uh, for the bulls in my eyes. Yeah, right there at that 48k. So um, as I'm looking for on a higher time frame, you know, we have been needing to do some some uh, some consolidating and a little bit of a pullback. Um, but you know, the dips have just been getting bought up. So um, uh, for a bullish perspective, you know, good to see. Um, let's take a quick look at ETH. Um, and we'll start here on the weekly as well. All right, so for the weekly, you can see ETH is inside of the bullish control zone um, and pretty bottomed out as far as the RSI goes and the EMAs that are in there. I uh, would look for this, the bottom of the bullish control zone to find as support um, and have a little bit of balance. They bounce on top and break back outside of the bullish control zone. So similar to what I was looking for um, to play out on Bitcoin and, and get that, I guess, that bullish favor on the RSI on the weekly. Um, if we dive into the daily here, um, ETH definitely getting squeezed. Um, you know, we are in between our EMAs at the moment, right in the middle of the bullish control zone. Um, so it hasn't really made a decision. But what is interesting to see on the daily is the BBWP is right here on the floor. So um, definitely getting squeezed on ETH um, and could be looking at a potential break, um, you know, coming up over really the next day or so. Let's see. I mean, can we... You know, been holding. This area is like so. So this is making me lean towards a break to the upside um, as we have been setting in higher lows continuously on the daily. Um, so again, so something to watch for as we go through move on, but with BBWP on the floor um, and just, you know, contracting, it does make me lean towards a little bit more of a break to the upside um, with the way the RSI and as well as the price action has been going for and, and moving. Um, on the eight hour, um, again, hitting its head on top of the bullish control zone, finding its resistance. Uh, but now that we did have our EMA cross, and it looks like we're coming back down to 
find it as support potentially and bounce on it and get back into the bullish control zone. Um, you can see we fell out of it right here. We back tested it and then we had that little bit of a pullback and came back down and just retested the top of the bullish or the bearish control zone right here at the 40. Again, found that as support and kicked right back off. So um, if we don't get back into the bullish control zone, um, that is going to lead me into a little bit more of a downside bias um, and get back in towards uh, potentially the bearish control area. So um, that's my guy, guys. Just quick update on the price action. A couple of things to look for as we have been kind of um, consolidating, especially on ETH. Um, and had a little bit of rejection at the 50k mark on Bitcoin. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the Discord. If not, I'll see you on the video tomorrow.